have to stay here until the storm blows over. Um, Patrick, this doesn't look like Neptune's paradise. Uh oh. Marty. Do I have to say it? Do you have to say what? I told you so. 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 Are you mad at me because of the storm? Yes, I didn't want to leave. I knew the storm was coming, but no. You and your childlike innocence and charming optimism. Feh. Oh. I'm sorry, Marty. I'll see what I can do to get this weather problem fixed. Yeah, well, whatever you do, leave me out of it. If the weather clears up, can we go? I, I can't make any promises. Why don't you check with the lady at the information counter? You watching TV? No, I'm knitting a sweater. Of course I'm watching TV. Chimps rolls. I'd sure like to be on that show one day. I, for one, have lots of faith in you. Okay, I gotta go. But don't worry, I'm gonna fix everything. Aww. And then we can get out of here. Forget it, SpongeBob. It's rock bottom. Chimps. Armed monkeys on motorcycles. I'm glad I live underwater. Excuse me, ma'am? Yes? Can I help you, sir? Is this rock bottom? Yes, you are in rock bottom. My condolences. When is the next bus scheduled to leave this place? All buses leaving rock bottom have been canceled due to inclement weather. We appreciate your patience. But I need to get out of here. I'm going to Neptune's paradise. It doesn't look like it. Oh, tartar sauce. I'm new to rock bottom. Can you tell me anything about it? I'd be happy to tell you about all the little things our burg has to offer. Great, thanks. If you would be so kind as to get me a snack. What am I, a delivery boy? I've been running errands all day. One kelp bar, please. And don't let it get mushy. Anybody else want anything? Please tell me now so I can get it all at once. Who are you talking to, weirdo? What a big, voluptuous eye you have. All the better to roll at you, pipsqueak. What did you want me to get you again? A kelp bar. They're in the candy machine just outside. I get it myself, but the rain would ruin my mascara. I'll be back in a jiffy. I can hardly wait. I've got to go. I have to find some way to get out of this place. You can check out any time you'd like, but you can never leave. I have to put a quarter in the slot. Hi! Hi! What are you doing? I'm waiting for the next bus. I need to get back to Bikini Bottom. Oh, well I don't think there's gonna be a bus for quite a while. Great, wonderful, fantastic. Say, don't I know you? Uh, no. Definitely not. I've never seen you before in my life. You're pretty, um, distinctive looking. I think I'd remember you. Hmm. Oh well, you look familiar, but maybe my eyes are just playing tricks on me. Yeah, that's probably it, SpongeBob. Say, if you've never seen me before, how did you know my name? Or, um, you just, uh, you look like a SpongeBob, that's all. Quit badgering me. Okay, okay, sorry. Nice can. Yep, dopesy. Great stuff. And the cans are very aerodynamic. 
good for kicking. Can I have it? If I let you have this can, what would I do to pass the time waiting for the bus? You could talk to me. Look, no offense, little guy, but I'd rather watch paint dry. There's paint drying? Where? Where? I want to see! Oh, boy. What do you think about all this bad weather? You want to know what I think? I'll tell you what I think. I think it's voodoo. Voodoo? Yeah, I've heard legends of a powerful weather wizard named Marlin who lives in Rock Bottom. And he's obviously upset about something, because look at all this rain. Wow, a weather wizard. Do you know where I could find him? Nope, nobody knows where he lives. But I, for one, ain't sticking around to see what other kind of problems he stirs up. I'm getting out of here. Well, gotta run. Okay, I'm gonna keep an eye out for that bus. Here's your kelp bar, lady. Mmm, kelp. Thank you. All right, so what do you want to know? What's there to see here? Not much. There's our weather station, WSEA. My sister works there. They have daily tours. You might want to take one. Ooh, a weather station. Just what I need. Maybe they can tell me when this storm's gonna clear up. It's just down the street. Knock yourself out. Thanks, bye! Hello, ma'am. How are you doing today? Welcome to WSCA. Unfortunately, we are preparing for a gala event. Everything is going wrong, and you are quite obviously not a repairman. So please come back tomorrow for a tour. Thank you. I'm not here for the tour. Well, what are you here for, then? I'm very busy. Oh, I just want to check things out. Sorry, you're not allowed. Nobody gets past me without station business. And as I don't see you carrying any tools, you clearly don't mean business. Have a nice day. You have a very nice desk. Yeah, great line, Romeo. You sure know how to woo a girl. I'll be back. I'll try not to get my hopes up. She doesn't seem interested in answering that. A calendar, neat. A computer. Funny, sometimes I feel like I'm stuck in a computer game. Oh, the horror. Ooh, Operation Krabby Patty. That was my very first game. <sighs> Good times. You're doing fine. 
Ah, look at the little Patrick. He is busy showing the mermaid man who can drink more cola. Life can be so wonderful, no? Hi, what you doing? Oh, hey there, little dude. I'm trying to fix this antenna. Ah, uh, looks hard. Yeah, well, you don't even know half of it. What makes this job really hard is that this antenna, it ain't even broken. Why would you fix something that isn't broken? I don't get it. Huh, neither do I. All I know is those big wigs in the TV station say this thing ain't working right, and it's my job to get it up on the curve again. And I say, whoa, there ain't nothing wrong with that antenna, dudes. And they say, yes, there is. And I say, no, there ain't. And they say, yes, there is. So now I'm stuck out here until I fix a perfectly good antenna. Bummer, man. Really flat day. Maybe you forgot to turn it on. Hey, man. I ain't that fried. Are those your tools? Is anything mine? I mean, what do you mean by mine? I don't own anything. Possessions just drag you down. Those tools are merely my temporary companions. I respect them, and they respect me. Oh, okay. Then can I respectfully borrow them? Jeez, I don't know, kid. The thought ain't sitting too well with me right now. Maybe because I'm so parched. I tell you what, bring me a Kelpsy, and you can borrow my tools for a few. How's that, little dude? Copacetic? A Kelpsy, huh? Where can I get one of those? Try the rusty anchor. That's where I usually go after work. Okay, thanks. Oh well, I gotta go. Okay, later, dude. Whoa! does anyway. Iron, I tell you! <laughs> Iron! I hear you. Mommy, Daddy, I want my whoopee. <laughs> Mermaid man, are you gonna be okay? This blurring sky turning yellow. Uh, that's just me. To the bathroom! Wow, he's in bad shape. I wonder who could have done this to him. I've gotta go, but don't worry. I'm gonna get help. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. Barnacle boy, it's me, SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, it's you. Look, uh, we're a little busy here. Uh, Mermaid Man bit off a little more than he could chew. Again. What happened? Maybe I could help. Oh, yeah. I have every confidence in your ability to take a bad situation and make it even worse. How sweet of you to say. Thank you. Come on, I know I can help. Just tell me what's wrong, please. All right, all right. It seems that Mermaid Man here can't hold his cola like he used to. Some yahoo challenged him to a cola drinking contest, and now he's got such bad gas he can't even stand up. Yeah. Where's your invisible boatmobile? Right behind him. I tried to lift him into it, but... Uh, Seems I threw my back out dragging him this far. Maybe I can help you get Mermaid Man into the boatmobile. No offense, little guy. It'll take a lot more than our scrawny arms to get someone of his girth off the ground. Gotta go. I'll be back. I'll be holding my breath. I am underwater, after all. Oops! 
I hope no one hears that. The Rusty Anchor. Creative name. Light. Nice. Hello, big guy. Hello, little guy. Nice place you have here. It's real, uh, rustic. Yes, I seem to have a real knack for feng shui. Mm, well, I can't eat raw fish. It gives me a stomach ache. Thanks anyway. Well, eh, anyway, it's it's amazing how some old cast in there could really tie a place together. It's a good thing. One tall, frosty mug of kelpsy, please. Sorry, ain't got no kelpsy left. We all tapped out on account of a cola drinking contest these two guys had in here a little while ago. They polished off the whole kit. All we got left is diet, caffeine-free coral cola with a lemon twist. Yuck. Well then, I guess that's gonna have to do. That'd be a doubt. You got a dollar? No, but I know where there's a whole treasure chest full of bus tokens. Sorry, kid, that don't fly in here. Pay up or pack up, that's our motto. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me more about that cola drinking contest you had in here? Yeah, sure. They was playing Belcharama. The players each drink as much cola as they can. Then they see who could outburp each other. The guy in here earlier was flat out the best burper I have ever seen. That mermaid fella didn't stand a chance. Wow, he was that good, huh? He was beautiful. I took a picture. It's up on the wall over by the bathroom. That guy's welcome in my place anytime, even if he is a little slow and pink. Pink, huh? Mm hmm. Sir, my friend Mermaid Man is in the parking lot outside, and he could sure use your help getting into his boatmobile. He's not feeling well from drinking all that kelpsy. Ah, I better help him out. I don't want him scaring off my customers. Say, can you watch the bar for a few minutes? Sure, I'm a trained professional. Head cook at the Krusty Krabs. Great, I'll be back. <laughs> I always want to say that. Uh, since you helping me out, feel free to help yourself to as much of that Diet Cola as you like. It doesn't sell very well anyway. Say, that looks just like Patrick. Do the kelp do. He looks dizzy. Do you have any threes? Two go fish, my favorite. Fight club. Looks like fun. Keep on rolling, baby. Looks like good, clean fun. That guy looks like Ralph. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. It's alive! Looks like he has an eye infection. Plankton looks really big in this picture. Those look kinda like Squidward's house. <laughs> I miss home already. Wow, look at the time! I better get cracking if I'm ever gonna make it to Neptune's paradise. This door seems to be locked. That keg is empty. Guess they used it for the burping contest. Okay, they on their way back to Shady Shows. I hope Mermaid Man learned his lesson. Uh, say, thanks for watching the place. Thanks for the Diet Cola. That guy must have a brave dentist. Here you go, mister. Thanks, little guy. Hey! What's up?
What's this? I asked for a kelp seat. Oops, sorry, I forgot. I'll be right back. All I wanted was a kelp seat. Whoa! Here you go, Mr. One uh, Kelsey. All right! Whoa! That was the best Kelsey I ever had. Thanks, SpongeBob. So, now can I borrow your tools? Sure, no problemo. Just remember to treat them with respect. After all, they're people too. Okay. seems to be locked. Right! With this toolbox, I might be able to pass as Jojo. Kawabunga, ma'am. I'm like totally finito with the antenna. Great! It's about time. Go settle up with Gary. He's upstairs in the newsroom. Cool. Later, dudette. Um... Wow! Aren't you Gary Gulper, the weatherman? Why, yes I am. Aren't you lucky? Well, yeah. And that's not all. Really? Really. In addition to the pleasure of meeting me, I happen to be in an autograph signing mood. Will your luck never end? Oh, I hope not. But, uh, I didn't want an autograph. I wanted to ask you something. What? No autograph? Oh, well, you must already have several. What did you want to talk to me about? Can you tell me when this weather is going to clear up? I need to get out of this place as soon as possible. Wow! This really is your lucky day. Here at WSEA, we have just finished building a weather controlling thingamajig. Once we unveil it, the weather will always be clear in rock bottom. Ooh! Indeed! Think of the increased tourism and the increased fame for yours truly. Not that I am not famous already. But then, <laughs> you can never be too famous. I'm not sure I understand. If you built a device that controls the weather, well then what does the station need you for? Well, uh, well, um... You see, uh... Uh-oh. Why is there a guy out back working on the antenna? Ugh, oh, don't get me started. The Mega Screen 2000 has been acting up lately. It maps the weather around rock bottom with amazing accuracy. And yet, in the past few weeks, it's been giving us some very strained readings. It shows a zone of perfect weather that never changes. Never a drop of rain falls there. This is obviously impossible. It has to be broken. Are you sure it's broken? No. In fact, the repairman out there claims there's nothing wrong with any of our equipment. But what else could it be? Maybe it really is a perfect weather zone. Please. No, really. Can you show me where it is? It's up on the Mega Screen 2000. Take a look. It won't do you any good. It's just a glitch. I'm gonna check it out anyway, but thanks. Gary. What a great name. I have a pet snail named Gary. How nice for you. Do you know why the weather here has been so bad lately? Well, there are people who claim that a wizard named Marlin is behind it, but please, we are all adults here. Well, I am at least. Wizards? I don't think so. Wow! A wizard? Why would he churn up all this bad weather? If he existed, I mean. I don't know. Maybe he is threatened by our mighty weather-controlling thingamajig. I gotta go. It was nice meeting you. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Oh, uh -oh. look! The zone of perfect weather seems to be centered around this cave. Uh. Uh. 
Um, I don't want to do that. Uh oh. Ugh. This door seems to be locked. Cheese. I don't want to do that. Hi, Plankton. What are you doing here? I'm trying to film a commercial for the Chum Bucket. I rode all the way out to this hole in the wall, and these louts can't even find me a cameraman. Aw, that's too bad. I'd offer to help out, but I don't know if Mr. Krabs would approve of me aiding the competition. Did I say commercial? Um, I meant public service announcement. Yes, I'm filming a public service announcement. Kids stay in school and all that. It's for the children. Oh, for the children. Well, why didn't you say? Are you putting me on? Absolutely not. I'm trying to get the kiddies to see the value of a college education. It's my duty as a role model. And on top of that, I'll throw in a little extra something special for you too, my boy. Mm-hmm. Public service announcement. Little extra something special. Okay, you got a deal. What do I have to do? It's easy. I just need you to go in the next room and find the camera control. Then just point the camera at me and start recording. I'll do the rest. Sounds easy enough. Okay, Plankton, I'm on it. Anything for the children. Yes, the children. <laughs> Poor sap. What was that? Uh, more tap. Yes, more tap. It's a lost art, tap dancing. We need to see more of it immediately. You know, I think you're right. So, Plankton, what do you think of Rock Bottom? Invertebrates, all of them. Can't stand the place, but at least there aren't many whales around. Oh, but I love whales! The way they glide gracefully through the water, leisurely gulping down millions of plankton. <laughs> yes, thank you. Gotta go, plankton. See you later. Uh, wait! Don't you want to see my diploma? I'll see you some other time, thanks. Bye! There, the camera is focused right on him. Okay, Plankton, action! Hi, this is Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket and all-around swell guy. A lot of you may have noticed the Chum Bucket's rather numerous appearances on TV news programs recently. Not to mention the various headlines we've made in most local newspapers during the past few weeks. Well, I come to you tonight to set things straight once and for all. I'm innocent! I would never dream of doing the things those bottom-feeding reporters accuse me of. Those pictures were clearly faked. Rest assured that the Chum Bucket uses only the freshest ingredients. That is all. Eat at the Chum Bucket. Thank you and good evening. Hey, Plankton, that didn't sound like a public service announcement. Subtext! I was practically begging the children to stay in school! Well, if I didn't notice it, then probably most children won't either. Whose fault is that? Certainly not mine! I'm making public service announcements! Oh, and by the way, here's that little something extra. Ooh, thanks! Well, I'm 
must take my leave. I'd like to stick around and jabber, but lo, the day wears on and the chum bucket needs me. Okay. Bye, Plankton. See you around. Operation Krabby Patty. That was my very first game. Ah, <sighs> good times. Good times. Wow, the weather really is clear here. Something's up and I'm gonna find out what. What would we do without signs like this? Dry clean only. What a hassle. Man, that thing is huge! Wow! I've always wanted to try one of these. I think I just had to pull the handle. Double tartar sauce! Tartar sauce. All right. Hmm, those arrows must mean something, but what? No, oh, it's dark and cold in here. I'm back where I started. I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Wow, this looks like some kind of wizard lair. I bet that Marlin up those stairs. Hey, what's Patrick doing here? Pa Patrick, Patrick. Oh, well, he's sleeping like a stone, as opposed to under a stone, which would be typical. There's no lamp on that nightstand. The Bermuda Triangle and other fun places to spend your summer. Oh, that place has gotten so touristy. Oh, a blue potion of healing. Quick, where's my 20 sided die? How to succeed at being lazy without really trying. Sounds like a bestseller. Remember, kids, don't play with fire. Hi, are you Marlin the Wizard? I don't know. Are you Marlin the Wizard? Huh? If I were, why would I ask you if you were Marlin? Because, my dear Marlin, it would be an excellent tactic to confuse me. Very clever, that. But I'm not oh. Marlin! You are! Aha, uh -huh. so you are not Marlin. Well, I must admit, that does increase the odds of me being Marlin. What about that large pink boy sleeping in my hammock? Is he Marlin? No, that's my friend, Patrick. Well, if one of us must be Marlin, I guess it might as well be me. I can't say I'm too happy about it, though. Marlin's a grouch. Why are 
are you, Grouchy? Two words. Gary Gulper. That's odd. He seems like such a genuine guy. Don't let him fool you. He's the character behind that insidious weather-controlling thingamajig. Weather-controlling hoochamawatchet? It's a device that controls the weather. Uh, sounds cool. No. Controlling the weather is my job. But those meddlers are in for a surprise. I magically sealed the vault door to the device. Now they can't even get to it. That'll teach them. Do you have anything to do with all this bad weather around here? Absolutely. I still reign over the rain. <laughs> At least for the time being. So why are you clouding up rock bottom? To teach Gary Gulper a lesson. He's trying to steal my job. How? By building that weather-controlling thingamajig. Controlling the weather is my domain. I'm not giving it up without a fight. But I need to get out of here. And the buses <laughs> won't run until the weather clears up. Well, the weather won't clear up until that weather-controlling device is destroyed. Maybe I can help you. Anything to get the weather back to normal here. Would you really help me? Of course. No problem. I'll tell you what. I'll give you a magic wand that will let you into the weather control vault in WSEA. You go in there and sabotage the machine, and then I'll clear the weather right up. Piece of cake. I'd go myself, but that secretary won't even let me in the lobby anymore. But how do I sabotage the machine? Something about you tells me you're pretty good at breaking things. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Great! So, where's the magic wand? Oh, here you go. Don't lose it. It's very valuable. Okay, thanks, Marlin! <laughs> no, thank you. You've saved me from the unemployment line. That looks like some sort of land monkey skull. <gasps> A blue <laughs> potion of healing. Quick, where's my 20-sided die? That might be a moon, but it sure looks like a potato. I guess Marlin hasn't finished unpacking his books. The Bermuda Triangle and other fun places to spend your summer. <laughs> oh, that place has gotten so touristy. Tidal pools and how to survive them. Sounds like a great read. getting in there. Some freaky wizard named Marlin came in here one day and cast a spell on it. No one can open it now. Mmm, it's the range. Abracadabra, Alakazur, my name is Spongebob. Now open that door. Wow! This must be the weather controlling thingamajig. Maybe if I just fiddle with the controls. Okay, Patrick. Now be real careful. I can do it! I can do it! <laughs> I'm winning! I'm winning! That's it, Patrick! I scored! I scored! We better get to the bus. My turn! My turn! That's it! I've had enough of these two clowns. Uh-oh. I think we're running out of gas. Hey! You got gas? Candy! Yep, out of gas. Oh, no. There's a gas station down that way across from the diner. Oh, boy, I'm starving. Woohoo! Yeah! 
I didn't see any food over there. No, you moron. That way? Hmm. That's funny. 